Hey, so I gotta let you in on a little story. This is probably one of the better places to do it. I'm in a kind of really old canal town. I just got here, so I'll, uh... Anyway, I'll hit some of the scenic routes a little bit later. So I left my phone in a cab on my way to the train station, which is bad, man. It's like, number one, it was an asshole move. Like, but I leave it out because that's how I communicate. So I leave it in the guy's cab. He drops me off the railway. I knew I left it in there about five seconds after he pulled off, but he was gone. So anyway, I tried to get another cab and explain that it had no effect whatsoever. This guy, I mean, he didn't know what a low man. So, uh, so anyway, I get him to drive me to another random hotel, just an English hotel. And uh, I get in there and I explain and I, I, I meet a, like a, a business lady who, sp who speaks English and uh, explain the situation. Anyway. Number one, she sat with me for three hours and figured it out for me to get my phone back. And then she offered me like to stay with her mom in Beijing and take me on a tour of the Great Wall. I mean, it wasn't like, she wasn't coming on to me at all. She was just, it was definitely just genuine Chinese hospitality. Um, but anyway, what they were able to do, because I didn't get a receipt from the cab driver and we would have never found him, but you know, they got closed circuit cameras everywhere. so. Basically, they called the hotel, they opened the camera, they got a picture of this guy's cab, they called the company, they found his phone number, they called the guy, he was across town. So I sat there for two and a half hours while this guy drove back to drop off my phone. I mean, look, I got a Google phone and I got Google Translate and I got Google service. Without it, I'm done. To buy a Chinese SIM, forget about it, it's over. But anyway, I mean, so I paid him like, I, I paid him like 50 bucks for coming back. I mean, he went, far to bring it back to me out of his way I'm sure he lost a buck or two but uh so then she 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 buys me she buys me breakfast and coffee uh she goes over some basic Chinese she gives me some advice on where to stay where to where to climb the, the great wall uh a couple of key spots she told me that hostels are definitely the way to go man I kind of split between half hostels and uh half really cheap hotels but she said I'll, I'll get more to the hostels and uh you know, she sat me for three hours, then walked with me to the, the bus. And bus transportation, it, 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 it's more difficult. Uh, there's, there's no English on, uh, on buses. Um, so she stayed until I got on the right bus and got me over there. And uh, just to have somebody actually out of her own time do all this work and, like, offer me, like, you know, like, 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 a room in her mom's house in Beijing and a ride to the Great Wall, man, it was it was really cool. I mean, she definitely went above and beyond, man. It just goes to show you, the Chinese people really, really get out. So I got my phone back, it's all good. Trip not ruined. End of the story is, don't be a dick and hold on to my phone a little better. So, peace out, man, I'll get some more, uh, I'm in a water town in China, it's, it's an old town, so I, I should get some good videos around here.